Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm King Posh and today I'm showing you guys this Acura RSX. And right now we are doing a uh, cop, you know, versus racer. Uh, this thing's got a V12 engine in this car. And I'm going to show you guys everything about this thing's awesome. Uh, it, there's so much potential with this V12. Um, it, it's a it's a mad vehicle, especially in like S class. But right now we're doing A, so let's get in here, get a nice launch going on, get right into the the nitrous. It's got full on nitrous on there. Like I said, great V12 in this thing. And that front wheel drive, I love the uh, the hand on lines from the front wheel drives. So yeah, this thing's sweet. It's all right. I expect to get hit. See, I would have hit all those stuff. But yeah, this thing's sweet. Uh, I have this thing uh, set basically for S, but I figured for A plus I'd bring it down because um, you can still use A plus class with the V12 engine, which is really nice. Um, this thing's very smooth, gets up to speed very quickly. Whoa! Like I said, I love that front wheel drive. Oh no! No, what are you doing? <laughs> Pressing buttons. That's what happens when you're playing on a controller sometimes. There it is. Get some healing. And then cometh and taketh away. It's alright. And I hate when I press the wrong buttons, you know. I mean... I don't know. I guess I have big hands, and I can just touch all these buttons with ease. All right, what's the best way around this thing? Right there, that'll work. Ah, oh, get! What are you doing? Josh, pressing the reset. There it is. Heal that up. He can just tap me, but not really do anything. It's all right. And we're going to make it. Yes. We'll take second place with it. Yeah, this thing is, is great. Front wheel drive. Handles really well, and I got fourth in there. It's all right. I was planning on making the video. It wasn't really, like, I, I got through the cop race. I was like, yeah, it is what it is. Just get through it just to show you guys this amazing vehicle. We're going to back out of this. I'm going to show you guys uh, my build on this thing. It's absolutely um, amazing. Like I said, it's got so much more potential, uh, especially for, like, S-Class as well. Um, you can get this thing going over two, 200 miles an hour get amazing um acceleration um coming out of that v12 engine that this thing has to offer um i mean it starts out with a what a 200 horsepower inline four 2.0 liter and then you can you can you can put a v8 in there if you want to but uh, when they give you a v12 option to put into this uh small uh vehicle you kind of have to you know as you can tell it, it starts you out with this 200 horsepower, you know, and you've got a, you know, it's a low-end B-class car. Um, and then, you know, you you slap on a, a V12 to it, and, and you're good to go, you know. And this thing's got 543 horsepower right now, as it stands for A plus uh, 269. Um, like I said, you can put a V8 in here as well, um, and that's not too bad right there. You have a lot of wiggle room, too, with the uh, V8. But when you have the option to throw in a V12, throw in the V12. 
All right. And you can tell I, I got this thing all, all decked out. Um, I love this thing. As you can just see, it's just got a basic um, ECU and uh, air filter, um, basic fuel system, basic exhaust. Uh, you know, uh, I put a uh, centrifugal uh, supercharger on this thing, and then I maxed out the nitrous for it. Uh, and then I put the uh, off road suspension. Now, when I'm in the S class range, I'm using the um, you know, the elite road suspensions and race suspension is what I would call it. But on this, I have just the off road, just so I could add just a, a little bit more top speed to it, just to get away from the cops a little easier. Just got stock brakes on there. Um, and then go all the way down here at the end here. It's got the best grip tires just to uh, manage that, that V12. Um, so there's that. Uh, just a regular stock clutch and it's just got a five-speed transmission seems to be good enough as you can tell as you go up of course you know it goes up as well uh, and then I have a you know an elite differential just get that thing up to a hundred percent grip um, then we got nitrous grip and nitrous drift of course on there um, hand on line, as you can tell, I have 100% grip, like I said, and downforce is at, a, at, at the highest part, and traction control is on, so you're not just sitting there spinning tires, you know, you're gripping and going. Um, so yeah, it, it's a fun vehicle. I really do like this thing. Um, but now that I just showed the video, you know, I can, you know, go right back to my, you know, an S build, uh, Thing majiggy so there's that um so we got this centrifugal force there uh we got that centrifugal force so we'll go with that one i uh, can see it's already getting up to up the power and speed um you know here you can get um 195 right there with it uh now I've just been messing around with this already all, all day today. Um, but you can get a whole lot of power pushing out of this thing. Um, you can go down to that NOS right there. There you go. There's, there, there, there's what I've been running right there. Uh, nearly 800 horsepower, 605 foot-pounds of torque, uh, a fourth of a mile in, in 10 seconds, 10.3 to be exact. Uh, and, and there you go. You got, you know... An, an S328 uh, right there. Um, and there, I mean, there's still more potential to it um, for sure. Um, here, you can just bring it all the way up to, you know, oh, look at that. You can bring it down one right there um, and maybe be able to even add more to it, maybe. But I mean, it would be, yeah, you, you might have to uh, tweak around with everything to get it. Um, you can put the brakes on there. And give it up to a uh, S329 uh, right there, which wouldn't be too bad. And then, uh, yeah, and honestly, I don't have to go to the cops thing. I just showed you guys. It definitely works. Um, it, it It's very, very drivable is the word I'm going to go with. Maneuverable. Yes, that word too. Um, maneuverable. Can't speak tonight. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You know what I mean. Um, it is what it is. But take it outside and get to see just how it is on there. And hopefully they they didn't start me out as a uh, a five, you know, as for the police, as they like to do to me a lot. Like I get out of here and it's like locked, and I'm like, oh yeah, I don't understand it. It is what it is. Are we going to load into this? Good. Oh, look at that. looks like I got some stuff to do here, too, as well, um, to get that done. So I'll worry about that um, at a later date. But, yeah, super sweet. Looks great. I can tell it's got that air suspension on there. I figured I'd put it on there. I, n I normally don't like racing with it because I feel like it overbounces. Um, I kind of like a stiff ride um, when it comes to racing. But it is what it is. I just wanted to make it look really good. 
but it's quick it handles great with those with that you know really good grippy tires it, it, it turns really well it's already getting up to a pass 155 miles an hour here very shortly um, very fast that that v12 is just super smooth yeah there we go we're already up there 201 is what you can get this thing at uh, very very quick I love this thing I, I've been buying cars left and right upgrading them and I've had this thing before and I was like and eh, I didn't want it and then I really got into it again and I'm like wow this thing has a v12 you can throw in there and I'm like okay I'll, I'll give it a shot again and I'm, yeah I love this thing it's very quick and it crashes wonderfully and it lands on its tires. So you kind of want that, you know? So, there's that. It still looks good. So, yeah. But, uh, I figured I'd show you guys uh, this really cool Acura. I mean, hey, you know, it's a it's a cheap car to begin with. And then, you know, you can put a, a V12 in there and really uh, work with it. So, yeah. Of course, it really didn't have any brakes that were into a wall there, but that, that happens. Yeah, it's a sweet uh, sweet vehicle. I love this thing. Um, yeah, it, it, it's great. I, let's see, how much is the uh, the Acura? Let's see here. Manufacturer, yeah, thirty four grand for the Acura. And then, you know, you, you put that engine in there. And you'll be set. Um, how much is that engine? Uh, I forget. Let me let me buy another one. We'll find out. So that engine's two hundred and thirty-six thousand credits. To just get a, a V twelve in there. I mean, that's not too bad. All right. And then one hundred and sixty-three thousand for the V eight. Um, but, I mean, hey, when you have the option to be able to put a, a V12 in there, put a V12 in there, you know, is what it is. Um, here, I could just buy another one and have the V8 in there if I want to, you know. It's got a 12 second to the uh, one-fourth of a mile. This one's also 12 seconds to, to there. Yeah, 425 torque. So, a little bit more torque. Well, it's a V8. It, it, it makes sense, you know. But, um, yeah. Sure, why not? I had the money, I could do it. All right, so not bad, and I'm pretty sure you can do. Uh, look at that, you get a 3.8, it goes 180 with the uh, the V8. Uh, now, I mean, now you're limited with, with other stuff, though. Um, you know, trying to get, like, the good good parts in there. Oh, did I put the wrong ones? Yeah, I did. Not a big deal. All right, and then uh, three six, okay, eleven six. All right, yeah, you can go down here. Look at that; it makes it quicker to go to the five speed uh, transmission. Of course, this stuff here, but look at that; a little quicker to go with the five speed. So you do that. All right, and then I I like to go into here to adjust everything there and I can go back into it and see what other things I can do to it that's too much 507 let's look at the power gains here that we can get here let's see 507 514 that gives you a little wiggle room What's the, yeah, 514, so I go with that. Okay, give it a little nitrous. Fact, because it's an A+. Plus. Oh, this is, that would, ah, oh, look at that. That would really cut me down a little bit, but um, not too bad. I, I could still work with that. Um, but, yeah. Uh, 514 horsepower with the V8. Um, 
you know, and then we can just compare it, you know, um, no, nope, wrong one, all my rides here, ratings, A plus, right, so, there we go, we can, uh, went past it, where is it? All right, let's just go through it slow to find them. There they are. All right, yeah, so 514, where's the other one? Are they not in line with each other? Where'd my other one go? All right, here. There's the other one right there. All right. Well, yeah, that's the power difference, but um, whatever it was, you have to just go back. Um, but well, here, we're already in too deep now. Oh, it's because it was an S class. It is what it is. It is what it is. It's been a long day. All right, we would want. We'll come back to that. Okay. Remember, I went with. Yep, I went with that. So, like, what did I do? <laughs> Drives me up the wall sometimes. Yeah, I can do stuff right there, but I don't need that one. I'll take that one right there. You just sit here all day and just build. I could. 565, regardless, you're getting more power out of um, the V12 than you are with the, uh, you know, the V8. I mean, that, that's what it just boils down to. You know, more power. Yeah, remember I could have that. There it is. See, there it was. There, there was my issue right there. So, um, okay. So, 543 horsepower, 11.4 um, on them. Um, there they are. They're, they're reefed side by side now. Yeah. There's the power difference. So, the V8 got 514 horsepower. The V12 has 543 horsepower. The torque on the V8 has 486. The V12 has 431. So a little less numbers, but still the fourth of a mile is exactly the same on them. All right. Just a slight 0 to 60 change. I'm sure if I just tweak everything around, I could probably make this uh, just as quick, um, if not quicker. Uh, but yeah, awesome thing. All right. There you have it. There's the there's the differences. Got to see the prices. Got to see me figure things out. It is what it is. It's been one of those days. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. Um, hopefully you get this vehicle. Hopefully you um, squeeze in the V12 engine into this thing because it, it's awesome. Um, it really is. Uh, we didn't even get to take this thing out for the drive yet. Um, you know, just to see what it's even like um with the um the v8 uh so might as well just do it you know why not yeah it takes off with these handles just as good get around the traffic there you know, we were already up to 150 by the time we got to this car.
corner here. So the V12 is definitely... Uh, was that with the uh, other one? It doesn't matter. Here we are. We've got a top speed of 176. Cool. Let's go back and use the other one. All right. Let's compare the speeds here and see the differences. Yeah, because the other one's going 200 miles per hour. That was the S. All right. Let's try with the A. All right. I get, I get mixed up so easily. I really do. Oh, I just love it just because it has a V12 in it. Yeah, it's about the same. It really is. It's about the same. I'm not hitting the uh, nitrous until I get to the end here. There we go. Nitrous. Yeah. About the same. Yeah, but I prefer I prefer the uh, the V12 or the V8. It's just a matter of preference, you know. I just like it that you can you can slap in a, a V12 into a small vehicle like this. I can I can understand a V8, you know. That happens all the time. They always you can always slap in a V8 into pretty much anything, like even a Miata. You know, you can put the Hellcat V8 in there. But when it comes to V12s, it just it just says, "Hey, when do you see what's underneath my hood?" And you lift it up, and there's a V12 in there. And you're like, how did you get that V12 in there? You know. If it's a V8, they're like, oh, that's cool, man. You got a V8 in there. That's awesome. They don't, it doesn't bat their eye. But when you say you got a V12 underneath that hood, that's a different story. So, yeah. Either way. So, I'm going to get back into building this thing back up to the S-Class. Um, because I, I, I really like it. It's very powerful, a lot of fun. Um, but hey, until next time, stay speedy, my friends.